Meet the Eagles is brought to you by Core Credit Union, a better way of banking. Antonio Glover, senior safety, Georgia Southern Eagles. What made me come to Georgia Southern was definitely the family feel, the home feel I, I received on my visit when I came down here. Uh, coach Joe Muckin was the coach at the time, and he did a great job at allowing me to meet the guys and hang out with the guys and also meeting the coaching staff. I'm from a small town in Douglas County, and that, that small town feel also translated to a big family, family feel as well. And I came down here, and it, it felt like family to me. And I, I really appreciated that and the whole recruiting process that helped me come here. How much of the history of Georgia Southern did you know and how much have you learned since being here? When I first came down on my visit, I, I didn't know too much. I saw the ball headed statue when I came to my game and I was like, everyone was headbutting. I was like, what's going on there? But later on, I, I came to learn that that was Irk Russell and the role that he played in our program and crossing the bridge at Eagle Creek every day. And that, that really gets the guys going. And as long as we can keep carrying out those traditions and plan for those, it, it'll be a big part of our success here. How tough is it to go from playing for a coach like Jeff Munkin to go into play for Willie Fritz and, and, and that transition for you guys? Um, a transition is always a difficult thing to deal with when it comes to coaching staff. You have new coaches, new schemes, but fortunately, I was able to keep my position coach, uh, Jack Curtis, who, who was my safety coach when uh, Coach Munkin was here, and I was able to keep that, and the only transition was uh, meeting Coach Willie Fritz, who's an amazing guy. He's an amazing coach, and he, he's really helped me grow as a player and as an individual and also helped us grow as a team, and I really appreciate him for that. What's your relationship like with Coach Curtis? We have a great relationship. Uh, this is my fifth here year. He was here. My first year here was his first year here, and um, we've we just really grown, grown to like know and love each other. He, ha he has us over for dinner all the time, and he's always happy with us, and my time, my time since I've been here has always been a great experience with Coach Curtis. I know you guys in the secondary get pretty close. Is there anybody in particular that you know, you, you've know you leaned on for experience and, and for uh, guidance when you need it? Uh, me and Dobson are like brothers back there. We we do everything, we feed off each other. We're always, we're hanging out, we're meeting up somewhere while we study together. We've had classes together and he, he's just a really great guy. And also D. White, Caleb Williams, they're transfers from JUCO. We've also bonded as well. And those guys come here, is all, it has helped us a lot. Three interceptions in your last game. What's that? What was that like? That was an amazing experience for not only myself but the defense. Uh, it was those our first turnovers of the year. We didn't get any versus West Virginia, so that that was a really great improvement that we did from last week to this week. And we just we really want got a lot of pressure on the D line and, and the linebackers put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. They allowed him to get off his mark and throw some off target passes. And I was just able to capitalize thanks to the position that the coaches put me in and put the defense in. It was a really great experience. Have you ever had a game like that where you had three interceptions in a game, even in high school? Uh, no, I've had some one and two interception games, but n never quite three. But um, they called it a hat trick. I didn't know what that was until until I heard about it. But that was um, that was that was awesome, and it was just an awesome experience. I wish I could do it all over again. Sun Belt Championship last year. You got a chance at possibly going to a bowl game this year. How good is this team, and how far do you think you guys can go? I feel like we're an amazing team with. With our coaching staff, they're, they're really pushing us. And we, we also play some really good opponents this year. As long as every week we can lock in and make sure we focus on our goals and our keys as a defense and also as an offense. Because taking that loss versus West Virginia, that, that really hurt us a lot. And as long as we focus in and do our best not allow that to happen again, we feel like we'll be fine.